Hey guys, I've got another quick video here for you. This time I want to cover binary math. Now, throughout this video, I want you to keep in mind the statement that 1 plus 1 equals 10 in binary. Now, hopefully as we go through the examples, this statement will make perfect sense to you. So let's begin by looking at a simple math problem of adding 0 plus 1 together in decimal, and we get 1. So normally we just take 0, we take 1, we add them together, write the result here. Next, same thing happens for the next column, 0 plus 0 is 0, and so on. And that fills in the decimal value. So in decimal, 0 plus 1 is 1. In binary, the same thing is true. We take 0 plus 1, we add them together, and we get a 1. And we continue with the remaining leading zeros columns. So let's look at something a little more complicated, however. Let's assume we'd like to add 1 plus 1 together, and we don't know what that answer is going to be, so we have to figure it out. Now in decimal, 1 plus 1 is 2, so we put a 2 here, and then we continue adding the remaining columns, each one producing a leading 0. Now in binary, if we were to add 1 plus 1, our inclination would be to write a 2 here. However, we cannot put a 2 in binary because binary, by its very nature, only has the symbol 0 and 1. So what we do instead is we take 1 plus 1 and we put a 0 because we are now out of numbers and we carry a 1 into the next column. So then on the next column, when we add these numbers together, we get one and we continue on through the remaining columns and filling in zeros. Now let's look at the equivalent of what we just did, producing one plus one equals 10 in binary. We'll look at the equivalent in a decimal number. The equivalent of what happened in binary is taking the number nine in decimal adding one to it, and in this case, we can't get another number. There is no digit past nine. So what happens is, is we take nine plus one, we put a zero in this column, and we carry the one. So nine plus one is zero, carry the one, which means when we add this together, we put a one in this column. So let me reiterate. 9, which is the largest possible number in decimal, added to 1 results in 10. 1 in binary, which is the largest possible number in binary, added to 1 results in 10. So let's look at another example. Let's take 99 in decimal, which is the largest two-digit number you can have. And let's take 11 in binary, which is the largest two-digit value you can have in binary. Notice we can't go any higher than nines in decimal. We can't go any higher than one in binary. So we have a two-digit number in binary and a two digit number in decimal. If we add one to it, nine plus one gives us zero, carry the one. Nine and one and zero gives us zero, carry the one. One plus zero plus zero gives us 100 here. So simple elementary math problem of adding one to 99. In binary, it's the same thing. We've got the largest two-digit binary number we can have, which is 1, 1. We'd like to add 1 to it. Well, 1 plus 1 is 2 in decimal, but it's 10 in binary, meaning we put a 0 here, we carry a 1. 1 plus 1 plus 0 is 10, or 0, carry the 1. And then we add 1 plus 0 plus 0 gives us a 1. So to reiterate, the largest possible 
two digit binary number is 11 plus 1, which gives us 100. 99 is the largest two digit number in decimal. Add 1 to it, that gives us 100. And I'm guessing you can easily figure out what adding 999 plus 1 would give you. Intuitively, you know it's 1000. That's the largest three digit decimal number. If I gave you the largest three digit binary number, 111, and added 1 to it, you would intuitively tell me that it is 1000 or 1000 in binary. And to show you, it's 1 plus 1 which is 10, that's 0, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 plus 0 is 10, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 plus 0 is 10 or 0, carry the 1. And 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. Now, it gets a little more complicated when you start looking at other binary numbers such as 1001 because 1001 plus 1 does not have the same carry as we would have if we were looking at the largest possible two or three digit number. So let's look at the math. 1 plus 1 is 10 which is 0 carry the 1. 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. There's no carry this time. 0 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus 0 is 1. So you can see that 1, 0, 0, 1 plus 1 in this case gives us 1, 0, 1, 0. Now, to help you out, the easiest thing to do is launch the Windows calculator switch yourself over to programmer mode and in programmer mode you'll notice you have an option to set it to binary. If I click on binary you can only type zeros and ones and in this example we could take this problem 1001 plus 1 1001 plus 1 and it would give us the answer of 1010. And in fact, if I keep hitting equals, it will add one each time and you will actually see a pattern emerge. 1010 zero, one, zero, plus 1 becomes 1011. One, one. The next number is 1100. Zero, zero. Add one to that. The next number is 1101. One, one. The next number after that is 1110. One, one, and then lastly, the next number after this is 1111. One, one, one.